Our next topic is Unified Data Management, UDM. The UDM is a control plane function within the 5G core network. It is similar to the home subscriber server HSS within the 4G evolved packet core EPC. AUSF and UDM together represent the functionality of HSS from 4G core. The UDM manages subscriber data and may also store subscriber data. The subscriber data can be stored locally within a UDM or it can be stored within a unified data repository. The latter solution allows multiple UDM to access the subscriber data from a central storage location. The subscription permanent identifier is managed by the UDM. 3GPP devices uses their International Mobile Subscriber Identity IMSI, as the SUPI. Non-3GPP devices can use their Network Access Identifier NAI as the SUPI. The UDM interacts with the AUSF during the authentication procedure. The AUSF provides the UDM with either the SUPI or the subscription concealed identifier. The SUCI is a privacy preserving identifier which contains the SUPI. If the UDM receives a SUCI, then it extracts the SUPI before proceeding. The UDM uses the SUPI to select an authentication method based upon the end user subscription profile. The UDM then generates an authentication vector and sends this vector to the AUSF. The UDM interacts with the AMF during the registration procedure. The UDM stores or uses a UDR to store the AMF identity for the UE which is completing the registration procedure. Storing the AMF identity allows the UDM to support UE reachability procedures. The UDM provides the AMF with access and mobility subscription data and also subscription data to support the selection of an SMF. The UDM interacts with the SMF during the PDU session establishment procedure. UDM stores or uses a UDR to store the PDU session identity, the SUPI, the SMF identity, the SMF address, and data network name DNN. The UDM provides the SMF with subscription information which can include authorized PDU type that is IPv4, IPv6, Ethernet, unstructured, default 5QI, default allocation and retention priority, session aggregate maximum bitrate, authorized session and service continuity. The UDM can provide updates to the AMF and SMF if subscriber data is changed. The AMF can be updated if the access and mobility subscription data is changed, whereas the SMF can be updated if the session management subscription data is changed. The UDM is required when sending SMS over non-access stratum signaling messages. The SMS function selects the registers with a UDM during the UE registration procedure. The UDM stores or uses a UDR to store the SMSF identity for the UE which is completing the registration procedure. The UDM provides the SMSF with relevant subscription information. The SMS Gateway Mobile Switching Center contacts the UDM when sending a mobile terminating SMS. The UDM provides the SMS GMSC with the identity of the relevant SMSF to which the SMS can be forwarded. Our next topic is Unified Data Repository, UDR. The Unified Data Repository is used to store data belonging to the Unified Data Management, Network Function, Policy Control Function and Network Exposure Function That is, the UDR is able to store first, subscription data which can be retrieved by a UDM second, policy data which can be retrieved by the PCF third, structured data which can be retrieved and exposed by an NEF. Structured data refers to data which has a known and organized format. 
within the context of the nef it refers to records of events which have occurred for example the amf may detect a loss of connectivity towards a specific ue this event can be stored by the udr and subsequently retrieved and exposed to other network functions by the nef here the figure on the screen illustrates the general connection of a udr to an nef pcf and udm other network functions use a udsf rather than a udr to store their data the udr can be implemented to be dedicated to a specific network function rather than shared by the udm pcf and nef for example a udm implementation may include a udr which only serves that udm similarly a pcf implementation may include a udr which only serves that pcf our next topic is unstructured data storage function udsf let's get into the topic the udsf is used to store data belonging to other network functions for example an amf may use a udsf to store the ue context that are being managed at that point in time network functions may have their own udsf or they may share a common udsf here the first figure on the screen illustrates the general connection of a udsf to another network function storing data within a udsf at a central location helps to allow network functions to operate in a stateless manner stateless operation means that network functions do not rely upon making transitions between states instead every transaction is treated as a new transaction if a network include multiple instances for a specific network function then stateless operation allows one instance of the network function to take over from another without needing to transfer any information regarding the current state the other figure illustrates an example of stateless operation when an amf experiences outage this example assumes a first amf which is managing ue a and b and a second amf which is managing ue c both amf share a common udsf so both have access to all ue context data if amf1 experiences outage then amf2 can immediately access the data for ue a and b this prevents ue context data being lost when amf1 experiences outage and allows a relative seamless continuation of services here i conclude this course hope you understand all the concepts clearly meet you in the next course if you have any queries please get in touch with us by typing your comment in the comment section thank you for watching do like and subscribe to our videos so what are you waiting for join us for the course and do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon also if you like our videos don't forget to hit the like button and share our videos